we got married in South Africa, 2014, November 23rd. And we've been trying to have a baby and start a family since then. Um, we obviously didn't know it was gonna be so, so difficult and so hard for us to fall pregnant. It took us a year and a half after we got married. Um, we got introduced to a wonderful doctor who had diagnosed me with stage 4 endometriosis and a rare case of a bladder nodule. And then a week later, the 21st of June, they removed the endometriosis. When I was younger, we knew there was a problem, but we never knew what the problem was. We always just thought that I was anemic, because that's what the doctors said. No, she's anemic, you know, it's normal. After knowing, um, I still always had hope. So we started off with artificial insemination. The first time it didn't work. The second time we didn't complete the process simply because I felt like my body had been through so much within a space of a month and a half and it was really emotionally draining so we made the decision to just take a small break from all the baby making and then my mom actually um, introduced us to Vitalab. She was like, why don't you just go to Vitalab? Heard they best, you know? And we came here yeah, and since then, it's just been, it's been incredible because the help that we've received here is phenomenal. So upon meeting Dr. Fenter, um, who is absolutely lovely by the way, he's been such a great help you go through a lot of emotions you know you ask questions like why me what did i do to deserve this you know i didn't know that so many injections were involved in ivf um, i actually lost count after the hundredth injection <laughs> um but yeah then the whole swollen belly i looked like i was pregnant before I even felt pregnant. I ended up picking up so much weight, but I knew that all the injections, all the, the medication, and everything that I had to do would all be worth it once I'm holding my baby in my arms. So I just did whatever I had to do to, to get to this point. The day they took the eggs out, I felt like a kid at nursery school and your teacher like puts a star on your head for being a good um, student because you walk around with that sticker and I'm like wow 22 eggs that's super cool <laughs> so when it came to putting the eggs back in that was a breeze and and really special because you can see those those eggs sit and spark up on the, the screen, it's, it's, it's quite special. So those two weeks that you have to wait <laughs> to find out if you're pregnant, um, I couldn't wait, obviously. <laughs> so he was the one, maybe we should take her home for pregnancy test, just so we can prepare ourselves, you know. But I had a good feeling that I was pregnant just from the way that my body was feeling. So I was like, okay, cool, let's take one. And we took one and I was like, is that a second line? <laughs> That's a second line. That's definitely a second line. So my husband's like, we're keeping this one. This is the first test that we took. And then we came to Dr. Fenter's office and he did the test and he's like, yep, you guys are definitely pregnant. And there was lots and lots of tears and, and just so, so grateful and happy that it worked the first time. It was a big, big accomplishment for not only for me and my husband, but for our little family that we've so desperately been trying to start. We're happy to say that we have been blessed with a little girl and we've decided to name her Peyton. 
um, which also means royalty because she is our little princess at the end of the day. So yeah. First of all, to Peyton, mommy's little angel, I just want to say that you are the best thing that has ever happened to me and your dad. Um, we will love you unconditionally and thank you for choosing us as your parents. Um, I don't know what I did right to deserve this, but um, you are just so special to us and I can't wait to meet you.